Um, Wasabi, um, I'm really excited for this figure. I'm just gonna get that out the way. Secretly, Mezco has become my favorite brand, just hands down. Now, I'm slowly getting into other brands and experiencing them, but I will say Mezco is now the brand I think I like the most. Um, I've been waiting for, well, I've had this a while, so I waited, I think I missed the initial drop of it, and... I had to wait for like the second round of go around. So I think I was waiting all of like the end of June to early July for this to come in. And I did get it around like I think the first week of July. But it's just been sitting for the last couple of weeks because I just haven't got around to opening it because I still hadn't opened my Wolverine yet. So it's like I don't want to open a whole nother Mezco. There's such a process. So now that that's out the way, we can focus on this guy. We got the Mezco 112 Collective Batman from uh, the Robert Pattinson Batman. Now, my thoughts on this movie, I've seen it about two times. I, I think it's really good. I love it. I mean, there's a special place in my heart for Christian Bale's Batman. I just, I, The Dark Knight, it's like my one of my favorite movies of all time. I remember that summer going to see that movie in theaters like at least six, five to six times. Like, I love that movie. Um... Yeah, so, like, there's a special part. Maybe it's a nostalgia thing, but I, I do hold that as my favorite Batman. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a fantastic movie, and I can't wait to dive into this figure, guys. So, let's get into it. Where is <laughs> Wrong Batman. I actually don't know any quotes from this movie, to be honest. But I have to rewatch it. it it's, it's a great movie. I, I am a, a big fan of Batman, though. So I'm excited to open this figure, guys. Um, yeah, this is going to take a while. Because these figures always do. Because they include so much. And I really appreciate that. Because so many brands don't do things like that. So, like, Mezco, keep it up. Fire. Alright, so you got your typical Mezco 112, you know... These are display figures, blah, blah, blah. Don't pose them. Don't overextend them. Don't overpose them. You know, me, who does that with his Wolverine for like the last month. I'll just be throwing that thing around. I mean, nothing's happened to it so far, so. Not actually throwing it around. Like, I, I pose him wildly and don't really care what, what happens and how long he stays in the pose. But yeah, that's essentially what this is telling you not to do. Um, I'm sure this is instructions... I don't really ever find them helpful. I mean, they are, but, like, they never really help with everything I need them to. Um, it shows you how to, where to put his UV flare, his sticky bomb launcher. That's going to be a process. His grapple launchers, the retracted launcher. Okay, I'm not reading all that. How to put on the flight suit. Yeah, okay. This is going to be a bitch. So, this is the bottom tray. You see you have a Batman stand. You have the typical Mezco 112 baggie. This is why I love Mezco figures because they always include this baggie for this. In case you don't want to keep it in the plastic. Honestly, some of this stuff might not come out of here. Got your extra batarangs. You got, I'm assuming, some of the stuff mentioned on the box. I'm not about to guess every gadget. I guess this one only has two trays. Yeah, so this only has two trays. Extra hands, three extra heads, an empty cowl, the Gatling hooks, handcuffs. Okay, nice. Wow. My new favorite thing is cloth, um, uh, wire capes and cloaks. I think they're amazing. Like, I think they're the coolest thing ever. I've never experienced them before. And, like, having one on my, um, my Gohan I just unboxed was a very cool thing to experience. All right. Wow. Ooh, okay. It's not as... I see it's only... 
Yeah, so they only put it on the outside, but I, I guess that's okay, I guess. Alright. I mean, you know my style. I'm not one to give a review off a figure just taking it out the box. I feel like that's unfair to you. I feel like I'm doing a disservice to you. Um, I'm just going to go off some of my initial thoughts on this figure just taking him out the box. I mean, likewise, likeness-wise, I think it's spot on with the likeness to Pattinson in this film. Um... I don't know how I feel about this cloak. It's very loose and large and seems to only have wire at the edges of it. I mean, I guess I get that, but like, if I wanted more posability in the middle, what did they expect me to do with that? I mean, granted, I don't have any experience. Oh, okay, that looks fire. I don't have any experience posing, you know, wire cloaks, so what do I know, but still. Um, alright, back to initial thoughts. Uh, out the box, he is the typical Mezco, I would say, honestly, I've never had a Mezco with this kind of cloth before. I don't even know what you consider this. This is like a hard, like, what is this, like a pleather? It's like padded. Honestly... It's a lot stiffer than I'm used to with Mezco articulation wise and or not even articulation wise mobility wise so I, I'm afraid to pose him right here because the arm is kind of restricted by the cloth now it can bend but I don't want to start work um, messing with the seams granted uh, eventually I'm sure I'll be a lot more frivolous with this figure but, um, yeah, like, even, like, pulling his leg out here feels kind of hard because it's restricted by this. Anyway, that these are just some of my, like, my initial thoughts. So, I mean, I get, I, you don't buy these figures for the articulation. Like, I, I'm sure anyone who bought this Batman knew when they were buying it, this wasn't going to be the posed up. I'm gonna fight you in a stand. I, I mean, Jesus, like, these are the stiffest legs I've ever felt. I mean, maybe it has to loosen up, pause, but, like, it's. It's pretty bad. And not, like, bad, like, it's a bad figure, but, like, just. If you want a Robert Pattinson Batman, I'm. I, like, I can tell you this off the bat. If you want a Robert Pattinson Batman that, um. You can pose. I probably would say go with the SH figure arts or the Mafex, but if you want something like screen accurate and feels as close to what Batman would look like in real life, then maybe this is the one for you. But anyway, I haven't had this figure out long enough. I haven't gotten enough time with it to really give you a fair opinion. These are just my initial thoughts taking him out the box so far. Um, I'm loving the detail on the head sculpt. I think that's fucking fantastic. I wish this came out like that would be cool but I know like that's a lot to do in this kind of scale his gauntlets look pretty dope these are kind of like flaily not in like a flimsy way but like it just I love the attention to detail like this little buckle right here for uh, I'm assuming one of his grattlings or his guns uh, I don't like the seam back here but granted no one's gonna see this back here Alright, let's look at some of the extra Battinson heads you get. Um, so, whoo, that made me so nervous. Wow. See how I mean by, like, I'm a lot more, I, I, I have enough of these figures now. I know what they, how they, okay. In the pictures, I was a lot more angrier about that head sculpt. I, I just didn't think it really resembled him. But man, in person, I'm seeing it. Well, not as I zoom in, but I'm seeing it more now. It's a more from afar kind of thing. Like the closer into it you get, I don't see it as much, but I do. It's a good head sculpt. I'll give them that. So that was, I guess, 
calm Batman. I guess this would be like angry Batman. I love the detail to like weathering they put on this helm on his on his cowl mask like unless that's just like defect with my figure but it looks like weathering effect or and to look like it's like actually like a leather type of material I like that or like some kind of suit armor I don't understand this head sculpt it's like puckered lips kind of <laughs> I, I don't know what they were going for with it um, if you guys have any idea, let me know. Maybe I'm just confused. Maybe it says it on the box. Uh, no, four interchangeable heads. Okay, well, I don't know. Uh, the mouth-opened, puckered, little... I don't know what to call that. I'm, it's, a, it's, a, it's a head sculpt. And then last but not least, you are given an empty cowl for him to hold. I'm assuming with like the open hands. I think that's really dope. I like that. All right, guys, let's go down the list. So initially you're given a set of two fists on the Batman. Now, if we take a look here at our row of, let me zoom out for you guys. You've got what looks like a uh, effect hand to throw something, some sort of charge, or maybe a batarang. I, I don't know. Uh, you get two batarang throwing hands, that's gonna be interesting. You get two open hands, I believe these are two gripping hands. Uh, something kind of hands, and looks like holding hands. We have our Batarang hands. I think they look good. Good range with it. Will help for a good pose. If this thing was poseable, maybe mine just isn't, but I can't get his leg to move out higher than that. Um, so maybe if it was poseable, sure, this would look good, but it's good for like an aerial up pose of about to throw it. Yeah, I like these. I believe these are what uh, you would call the grasping hands. Like, I think these are for grasping the open cow. I could be wrong. I mean, I just don't understand what they would grasp being this open. They could be for a grappling hook or something, but I see hands that look like they're definitively for holding things. But again, what do I know? Anyway, they're nice. Like these right here are definitely for grasping something like one of the flares or one of his uh, weapons of some sort like definitely this is probably even something you could hold a batarang into I mean there's batarang holding hands but like I feel like these could probably hold a batarang as well honestly these might also be for holding batarangs I'm not too sure but these are nice And our final set of hands also look like they're for grasping something as well. And again, I could be wrong, but this looks like a Batman figure that's going to be in like a pointing towards a direction pose opposed to a fighting pose. I, I still don't know how to like, I don't believe the leg is meant to go higher than that, but it's whatever. And our final hand, they just kind of gave us one of them has this kind of like blue shock effect on it so I'm wondering if it's like throwing something and it's giving the effect hopefully it tells me in the instructions I have no idea but I figured I'd show this last hand that they give you this isn't as large as the um what are the figures the Wolverine or the Spider-Man. This is my first Mezco figure that only really featured two trays. Every other one I had had at least threes. I don't, I don't remember how these were in here. Whatever. But um, we'll go through what you're given. 
So these are, I'm assuming the, let's look at the instructions, how to actually set it up. For his glove, retracted grapple launch, plugs in the holes and interior firearm. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's fire. And then the ones that are not out. So like, you get two of each. If I want ones that are just kind of retracted on this arm. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, okay. So, I like. Sticky bomb launcher. This would probably go in something like, so you got a sticky bomb launcher here. I'm assuming this would go in this hand, because this is the only other hand I could figure would be a something for holding a weapon, unless it goes in the same hand as that one. Like it might go in that hand, because that is like a perfect hand. Ooh, and it just goes like, oh, that's fire. I mean, I guess in theory it can hold this too. So you've got handcuffs, obviously. Let's, oh! Handcuffs. Oh, sorry, Batman. Dope handcuffs, I like them. I mean, I don't know what I would do with them, but yeah, they're dope. It just seems like something I'm gonna lose. But I guess we can get him kitted out. Uh... You get a flare and a UV light. It's pretty cool. Like I said, like cool features to have. I know this was stuff used in the movie, but... Uh, probably besides photography, I don't know if he's going to be using it. And that's the thing with Mezco. I noticed they love to include a lot of accessories that you'll never use. And honestly, that's a good thing because depending on what you're doing with the figures is really how useful something like that can be. So the sticky bomb thing goes in here. I think there's supposed to be a cartridge for it. I don't know where it is. But that's dope. And these just swing like that. Like, ooh, okay. That's supposed to be like another part to that. So we gotta find that. And then the flare and UV light go, oh, okay. Go on the back. All right, well. So here we have our final tray of accessories. We're given our, I wouldn't say full tray. These are like the little mini trays they put inside the trays. You've got uh, two Batarangs. I'm assuming this is the relaxed version. You've got two, I'm assuming, when they're ready to be thrown based off that other hand. Yeah, so I think these are the adrenaline pens and these are the caps for the, whatchamacallit, gun, I, I think. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let, let me let me read the box. Uh, what the hell is that tiny ass? All right, no, 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 smoke bombs. Sorry. So those are smoke bombs. You've got adrenaline pens, a pair of handcuffs, a sticky bomb cartridge. I don't know where the sticky bomb cartridge actually is. They lied to me. I don't even want to open this. So I don't know where this so-called sticky bomb is. I've got. Oh, not sti yeah, I don't have the sticky bomb. I've got, uh, unless these are them, and I'm just stupid. Oh, yeah, it, that's the, the Gatling. I love that. It's like on a wired string. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah, 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 so I have, I, I have it.
Yeah, so either way, you have so many different ones. Like, I put one of the little smoke pellets on this Gatling. I'm not going to use it, but it's still cool to have. This one, I really like for posability. I don't even know if I can get it in frame. Like, that's just cool to have a Batman that can do that. Most likely, I'm not going to have him have that one on just because of how cumbersome something like that is and it's like that that's just asking to break and we're not we're not here for that guys so we're gonna roll that back up that's cool for photos don't get that will be cool for photos i want to commend mezco real quick because you think feeling these they'd be some cheap flimsy like rubber material or soft pliable plastic they're not they're very sturdy like this is like a a strong piece of plastic which honestly surprises me because I don't really expect that from a brand so I'm, I'm happy for that come to the closing of the video we come to my favorite part so this is the Mezco bag I was telling you about the 112 collective little Ziploc baggie they give you to fit all your little small losable items in this worked out handy for something like my spider-man since my Wolverine came in a tin, I don't really need it per se, but I might use it. Or I could use it for another figure. But for this one, I'm definitely probably going to try to keep them in these trays. I don't see myself using many of this stuff. And I don't really feel like going through the hassle to set up a lot of it just to get a picture. But my favorite part is the Mezco 112 Collective Stand. I will stand by it. When I say Mezco have the best stands for basic uh, Marvel Legends sized figures in the game. Like out of all the 6 inch figures, 7 whatever, that I've topped recently. All of them do pale in comparison to Mezco. Now obviously this is the base, it's just simple, it says the Batman. Um, Hot Toys is a different conversation because that's a whole different diff different scale. But like I love the flex and posability of this arm that you're given like I think it's fantastic now I don't know if I'm gonna pose him in the air because he's not really flexible so I don't even know if it would look good for him to be aerial honestly but I'm just glad I'm given that ability as we come to my least favorite part we prepare to uh, get him into his flight suit and that's gonna be a process so, from what the instructions show me, now, I think the, the flight suit was a great way to show Batman in the beginning. Personally, I think it's ugly as hell. Uh, comic fans, people like that get angry, but I'm just being honest. I didn't like it. I get why it's there. It's showing the pra practicality of a real, more real world Batman. It's also him in the beginning, so maybe he hasn't mastered down the tech yet. I get that. Uh, nah, it's, just, it's not it for me. And that's okay, you know? It could not be it for everybody. But, um, let's try it out, I guess. See how this goes. This is surprisingly a lot easier. Oh, the cape, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is this is going so easy. This is going so good. How am I supposed to get the cape in? The cape doesn't come off. No, it just goes behind him. Okay, like that. This is going a lot easier than I thought it would. I'm not gonna lie to you. I uh, cape. I thought this was gonna be a process. I thought I was gonna get mad. I thought I was gonna give up. I was gonna go. You know what, guys? Forget it. You don't need to see it. But. Surprisingly, I've gotten this in here fairly well. This zipper feels so flimsy.
I mean, yeah, it, it, it looks good, it looks accurate to the movie. And it was ugly in the movie, so I guess it's ugly here too. <laughs> oh, and something Mezco doesn't tell you, or yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't. Um, if you want to turn this into a normal base, I don't know, Phil. I don't know, do I care? You're supposed to. Oh, never mind. I got it. Go like that. Anyway, um, since this is an unboxing, I'm not going to give my concrete views or opinions on this figure. What I will say, out the box, it has very limited mobility, posability, a lot more than I'm used to with a Mezco figure. Now, that, again, I didn't buy this figure for its posability. I bought this because I like Mezco and I like what they deliver. So that's a different conversation. I'm going to sit with this figure for a little bit, get a feel for it, try to understand it better, and then I'll be able to come back to you with my more well thought out uh, review, an honest opinion on if I think this is worth it or not. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Yeah, about to get hitty, yo. We're watching this Batman. He like a fat man. Mmm, look at that man. Got a tap man. Pause. Whoa, what'd you say? You got a tap man? That's kind of sus. Mm-mm. You eating up boys like Pac-Man? Ooh, bars even susser. Mm-mm, the Joker and... Oh, all right, I'm done. I can't rap, guys. Bye. <laughs>